Hey guys, Piece of Cake Mom here, this time with a holiday cupcake bouquet with things that I got mostly from Dollar Tree. This is a great and expensive way to make a beautiful bouquet or centerpiece for your holiday get together. Here is a snapshot of mostly what I used. You can get the vase from Dollar Tree. You can get the large ornaments from the Dollar Tree. As you can see, you can also get um, these floral bunches. These are so cute. All you need to do is just cut them up and you'll be able to push them in the styrofoam. I got the styrofoam balls from Walmart. This is a half ball, but you could also get a full ball and cut them in half. You can even get floral cutters from Dollar Tree, as you see here, um, even hot glue sticks. I got my hot glue gun from Dollar Tree for a dollar, obviously. And then you can also get multiple different colors of ribbon. This was my inspiration. I always go on Pinterest and get some real bouquet inspiration before I do a bouquet. So I started by um, kind of layering for the inside of the centerpiece. I started with the larger ones and then I put the floral in and then the smaller ones. I did alternating textures because I thought it looked better but you can do whatever you want and you just kind of keep on layering until you get kind of the effect that you wanted. And then I like to kind of turn it around and look at it from every angle. Here I'm gluing on the styrofoam half ball. And then I always go with an extra layer. Because um, the first layer is basically just kind of to get it to stick. And then this really seals everything in so that your cupcakes don't fall off. And then here I'm going to secure the cupcakes. And I'm going to also use the little mini balls and put those on as well, also using my hot glue. I take the top part of the ornament off and then I put a lot of glue and I kind of push it and hold it. And it's kind of important that you kind of hold it there for a little while because it sort of melts the styrofoam a little bit at first until it starts to cool. Um, you might have some pieces fall off if you don't hold it there or like I'm doing right here I immediately put a Cupcake underneath it so that it didn't fall off and then I'm putting little mini cupcakes around it To kind of give it some more stability until it totally cools off and is really stuck to the styrofoam I always use even for my mini cupcakes two toothpicks to secure it. I've never had any cupcakes fall off, but I feel like this is um, its just safer than using just one. And then there I was showing you that in the spaces, don't worry too much if you have like a big gap because you're going to be putting little pieces um, of floral in there or, you know, as I just put in, it was kind of hard to see, but I put in um, a little piece of pine cone so here's some more pine cone and it's important when you're cutting up those floral bunches to leave some of the stem that way they're easy to push in to the styrofoam and they don't fall off they're pretty secure that way there I'm deciding to do another mini ornament and be generous with the glue I can't stress that enough Here I am securing more cupcakes to hold it up. Now for this recipe, in case you were curious, I'm using an eggnog cupcake and it was super fun to make. And what I did was I used a white cake base and instead of the water in the white cake, I use um, eggnog. I used vanilla eggnog from Fred Meyer or Kroger or whatever you have in your area. And then it comes out kind of thick, so I used just a little bit of water and then I mixed it all up and then threw it all together and baked it how you would normally bake it and they turned out super yummy. I also added a little bit of cinnamon as well and they just make super good cupcakes. 
really moist and the egg also helps them like fluff up too so you're gonna get quite a bit of cupcakes out of um, your regular white cake mix and then here I'm just placing obviously the rest of the cupcakes and the rest of the balls the ornament balls and I'm also looking for places to put more floral um, just to kind of fill in everything else make it look pretty there are a couple places on the top where I'm gonna wait to add floral but next I'm making these super cute flowers I use Russian ball piping tips um, you can buy them just the balls or I like the big pack that way you can make all kinds of different awesome Russian floral um, with your buttercream and there's all kinds of videos out there on how to use all these tips but this one's my favorite and it makes kind of an anemone or a poppy looking flower And it does have a coupler with the set that I bought, but I'm super lazy and I didn't want to use a coupler. And this was the only color that I was going to use. So the important part about this is basically um, pressure, how you use the pressure. So you're going to use a cookie sheet and put parchment paper down. And then you evenly just kind of squeeze and turn back and forth and then you wiggle it it's important to wiggle it to get it off because otherwise it's going to pull your whole flower up off of the parchment paper this is going to take quite a bit of practice to be totally honest this isn't the easiest flower but they turn out so cute and once you get the hang of it it's pretty darn easy you don't need to have a ton of skills to be able to do this flower. I also have another video that shows from above how I do these flowers. It's the anemone video on my channel. Just go check that out if you want to see a little more detail on how to do this easy flower. So what I'm doing here, there's little pieces that stick up. I'm just pressing them down with um, a small angled spatula. I've even done this with a toothpick. You can use just about anything, but just press the little part sticking up into the center of the flower. I know it's hard to see, you probably can't see any of it, but there's actually a hole in the middle of the flower at this point. So you're gonna push the pieces sticking up into the center and then in just a minute we are going to add some uh, frosting to the center so it has a center and here we go with that it's the same exact color I'm just putting it where there's parchment paper And that's all folks all I'm gonna do now is add these glitter sequins to the center and then I'm going to freeze them for 10 to 15 minutes I added about four or five to the center and I kind of did them flat so you could just you could tell that they were around and then you freeze the whole pan and everything for 10 to 15 minutes so that you can pull it up easily and uh, place it on your cupcake bouquet. Next to secure it, you put some frosting and then I do it in a circle and then you just push it on and then it stays on really well. Next thing we're gonna make are the little flowers in a bunch so to get those to stick you do the same thing um, I would use the same exact color I was just kind of showing you how to do this um, it's important to get this right it's nice and easy I have a video on how to do that flower on my channel I didn't have the time to show you on this one 
here I'm going to show you the rosettes. These are super easy. This is a Wilton 2D. Start in the center and come around. And now I'm going to fill the center of those cluster flowers. I believe that's what my video is called, is cluster flowers. Um, sorry that I'm so shaky in this video. My little guy is literally strapped to my front. He's eight months old and needed a ton of attention when I was almost done. So I look like I'm just shaking like crazy. But anyways, you just fill it with the white and it just looks so cute. They look like little real clusters of flowers. And then I put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes to get everything all hardened so that I could add the rest of the floral. I just, when it's nice and hard, you don't mess up the flowers that you just worked so hard on making. And so that's why I do that. And then I decided that I wanted to use some ribbon on the bottom so that you couldn't see the rest of that white. So in just a minute here, I'm gonna glue some more pink ribbon. Now the cluster flowers are so easy. You use a Wilton 2D tip for those too. And I really suggest you go and check out my cluster flower video. You are gonna be surprised at how easy those flowers are. And again, this is all with buttercream. Uh, buttercream is really too easy to work with and it firms up nice and easy. I love doing butter buttercream flower transfers. They work so nice for achieving lots of different looks. And here it is. Thanks everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Follow me, follow me, and please subscribe. Happy holidays.